Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and today I'm going to show you how you can take your data to the next level and export it out of Google Analytics into Google Spreadsheets to build dashboards, reports and more. I will show you how to import the data, analyze it and build a pretty little report and dashboard. This and more coming up in this special edition of Measure School. So let's dive in. Have you ever tried to put together a custom report or dashboard in Google Analytics? Yes, the features exist, but sometimes it's cumbersome to pull all the data together and you can't always get it to do what you actually want. In my opinion, Google Analytics is a great tool for quick analysis, a bit of research and data discovery, but building custom reports or building a simple dashboard that you want to give out to clients is just not flexible enough. That's why digital analysts actually export the data into different tools. When building a dashboard, you can, for example, use the tool Clipfolio to display your data in a comprehensive manner. For data visualization and analysis, a lot of analysts use Tableau. And if you really want to crunch data, more advanced statisticians or analysts use a language called R, which you can also connect directly to your Google Analytics account to pull the data into this environment. But sometimes you don't want to go into such detail and just go back to the basics using Excel or Google Spreadsheets to view data. So how does it work? Google Analytics has the functionality to export data directly in their views, but it's quite annoying because you have to go in to certain reports to pull down the data and then copy them over from spreadsheet to spreadsheet in order to pull all the data together. So there's a better way, the reporting API. And they actually showcase this on their demo site, which you can find under gadevtools.appspot.com. If you go down to the Query Explorer, we, you will be able to try out the core reporting API. For that, you need to be logged in to your Google account in order for this Query Explorer to have access to your Google Analytics. And the first thing we see here is the view, which is equal to whatever you see in your home tab here under company demoshop.com master. And the same is modeled here. And then you can select your query parameters. Let's say we wanted to recreate a very popular report in Google Analytics, which is the source medium report. We can do the same in the query explorer by choosing the start date and the end date, which is here yesterday. And then you can select the metrics. Now there are different metrics that you can select here and you can always click on the uh, little info icon here, which will take you to the different metrics that are available with different descriptions. And if you go back here and we just choose the sessions, we also need to choose a dimension. And in our case, that would be the source medium dimension that we want to put in. So source medium. And all we do is just run this query and we get our results back in a little table here, which has been pulled from the reporting API. Now there are different other parameters that you can fill in like segments and filters. But the really cool thing is also that you can define your sampling level. And this is actually in the free version of Google Analytics one way to get sample free data from your Google Analytics account via the API. Now you could write a script in Python or PHP to connect to the API and pull your favorite data. But again, there are better ways of doing this. In Excel, some plugins like Analytics Canvas or Excel Analytics let you pull the data right into Microsoft's Excel to analyze there and further manipulate it and put it into the format that you want. But I actually prefer Google Sheets for easy reports and dashboards. Why? Well, Google Sheets is a free tool. Everybody can access it through a link that you share with them. You can annotate it, collaborate with others, and even leave comments on parts of the sheet. And of course, they are updatable. So if there's new data available, you can easily incorporate it into your existing sheet. 
So here is an example of a dashboard report that I've built for an e-commerce client from scratch with data directly from Google Analytics. And as a template, you can download this at measureschool.com slash dashboard and customize it to your business needs. And this is all made possible with a Google Sheets add-on that you can get for free in the extension gallery of Google Sheets. It's called Supermetrics. And it's really a cool tool because it allows you to connect your Google Sheet to the Google Analytics reporting API and pull the data directly into the cell that you needed to be in. And then from there, you can clean, analyze, and present your data however you want. So let's go into a little demo here. So let's say we wanted to get the visitors from last month into our spreadsheet. I usually um, open up a raw data sheet here that we can use to first pull the data in from Google Analytics and then um, port it over, calculate it and put it into our dashboard. So how would we do that? We will first of all launch our Supermetrics and I already connected my account correctly to Google Analytics and you can choose the data source, in our case, Google Analytics is already selected, the right view, and then select the dates to have some default dates here, for example, this month's to date. And then all you need to do is choose your metrics. In our case, it's sessions, but we could also take the users, just as an example here. And the next option, we'll choose how we want to split the rows and the columns. In our case, the rows don't need further splitting up because we already have sessions and users, but the columns should be split up by the actual month. Then as extra options, you can choose any segments that you have defined in Google Analytics. So this will be pulled from your Google Analytics account. If you have any special segments that you want to run this, fetch this data from, and we have filters that you can extra define in order to refine your data. And then on the options, there are some really in interesting options like avoiding data sampling, which can be quite a headache when working with the free version of Google Analytics. And Supermetrics will then pull the data bit by bit, which can take a little bit longer. I'll keep this turned off. And what we can do now is simply get the data into the table. It will insert it into this cell that I have selected. And here we go, we get the sessions and the users for the month of March up to this date. We have sessions and the users. Now we could do any kind of calculation, like you're probably used to it from Excel or Google Spreadsheets to get, for example, the sessions per user. And if you choose so, you can incorporate this number again into our report. Now to connect this all, you can go into the cell that you want to display this on and simply take a formula to connect it to your raw data. And this is how you can easily pull data from Google Analytics into a Google Sheet with the help of Supermetrics. Now the paid version also has the abilities to schedule updates to these reports automatically and send them out via email. So it's really a great addition if you're working with multiple Google Analytics accounts and want to send the data out to your clients. Now Supermetrics plugin, at least the basic version, is free for Google Analytics. They can connect to many different other tools such as AdWords or YouTube if you want to connect that data as well in your Google Spreadsheet. But in the basic version, when you only want to get the data out of Google Analytics, it's free up to 100 rows. After that, you need to pay a little price of $50 a month in order to have these integrations available in your sheet. So if you want to check out Supermetrics, head over to our resource gallery at measureschool.com slash supermetrics. And don't forget, if you want a template for a dashboard so you can pull the data into the right fields, you can download our template for our dashboard at measureschool.com slash dashboard. And that's already it with this week's video of measureschool.com. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, it would be a great help if you could subscribe to this channel so we can keep you up to date when we bring out a new video. My name is Julian, till next time.